Yeah. In this front box up here. Yeah. Caught that one right up under y'all's dock. Really? All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> we are getting ready to go do a little quick trip out on the boat. We're gonna head out to the end of Gulf Shores Pier. I know the pier got destroyed back in Hurricane Sally a few years ago. And uh, it's been shut down because they're gonna start rebuilding it. And so nobody's been fishing out there. So we're gonna see if we can't get up close to the pier and uh, do a little bit of fishing. Fishing should be good since uh, nobody's been out there. And uh, we are also getting ready to do an overnight tuna trip tonight. You see, uh, my buddy Craig gave me some outriggers. Craig, if you're watching, thank you. And so we just got the outriggers put on there. We're gonna head offshore tonight, um, try to go get on some giant tuna. That is the goal. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that video because it's gonna be pretty dang epic. But uh, we're gonna get loaded up and go do some uh, near shore fishing today and then head out tonight for the offshore stuff. So uh, jump along for the ride. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go. All right, y'all, we're fishing this destroyed pier here. They're actually working on it. We got some fiddler crabs. Nobody has been fishing this in quite a while. And uh, they're actually not working on this section, so we're able to fish right now. I'm gonna pitch a crab over here. We also got some shrimp. Depending on how this goes, may drop some shrimp. We got some bull minnows too. Could be some redfish, some flounder up under here. There's a ton of barnacles on here. We ought to chum them up a little bit. Oh, got him. Ah. <laughs> Not one of those days. Me and Jack know all about losing two fish, too many fish. That's a, uh, that's still fresh on the brain. So, Chris, can you grab the net? Where's the net? Oh, is it in there? Why would we have the net ready before we start fishing? <laughs> all right, so I just got eight and Jack just caught one. So there's definitely fish here. It's a good sign. Jack got his on the shrimp. I actually like fishing for sheep's head with shrimp if there's not gonna be pinfish and other stuff around. Oh, come on. You on? Got him. Come on, baby. Yeah. Oh yeah. Good fish. Nice sheep. Oh yeah. Get back up here, baby. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Nice so work. So we don't suck. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know what was going on the other day. We definitely sucked the other day, but frisky fin, sheep's head jig right in the top of the mouth. That's a good one there. There he is. Check it out, y'all. Nice sheep's head. We've only been here like five minutes. <laughs> Old Jack back there dancing. But I uh, already got two bites, landed the second one. Jack's already got one. And uh, we're going to keep fishing here. Uh, like I said, this pier got destroyed during Hurricane Sally. And uh, they finally are starting to work on it. It's been like three years, almost four years. And uh, since they started working on it, you're usually not allowed to fish on it, but since they're actually not working on this section, we're able to fish right here. They're working on the other part over there. So don't really get a lot of action, but we're gonna drop another crab down. See if we can load the box today, baby. It is cold. So right now we are using the Frisky Fins knocker rig. He has two styles of sheep's head jigs. One's a knocker rig. Like this, the other's a swing jig. I actually prefer the swing jig. I've caught more fish on it. But uh, right now, I'm not sure if I have any of the swing jigs with me or not. But rocking the knocker rig right now. All right, we're gonna go ahead and try to chum these bad boys up a little bit here. I can't believe more people haven't been fishing over here. If they had been, these pylons would be completely scraped. But uh, there's not much off of them, so ain't nobody been over here. It's like our own private fishing pier until we post these videos. There he is. Oop, there it is. Hey, trolling motor. Put us back where we were. Oh, the trolling motor is like, I don't know what it's doing. Did you get snapper here before? Red snapper? Yeah. I've never personally caught a keeper, but I've seen them catch keepers off the pier. Chris got him on. Nice. Chris with the smallest one of the day. Let's go. Nice work, Christopher. Well, that might uh, change my plans a little bit. 
We haven't had a bite in a minute, so I got a bull minnow. I was gonna see if we got any flounder hanging around these pylons. Since he's already hooked up, I'm still gonna do it, but of course Chris, Chris catches that sheep's head right as I'm about to do this. But I'm gonna give it a minute, see if there's any flounder hanging out here. Chris is on, on the bull minnow. He's kinda like a fish. He's diving down. This will be a first. I'm probably about to lose a rod if I get eight. Maybe even if I don't. <laughs> oh, it's a loon. Dang loon ain't your bull minnow. What are you gonna do about that? He looks mean. What's the move here? <laughs> I don't quite know yet. If, anybody, if any of y'all have ever caught a loon, comment down below. Yeah. Need some pliers? There you go. Those tongue? Yeah. Nice. You think those taste good? You wanna eat them? He's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> nice catch, Chris. Yeah, we First lane. Come up with a, something to look like a bull minnow. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's been a little bit of a tough bite today. Put up at the jetties here. I'm going to start out with a live shrimp first on the sheep's head jig. January, February. Chris is on. And he's on the phone. <laughs> Chris is on the phone with his job. Gave the rod to Jack. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. What do you got? Oh, that's a big pump. Oh, nice pump. Oh my. I got. Yeah, get the net. I got something good on too. Watch the camera. Good pump. Good pump. Oh my god. Oh, I got a drum. That's the easy side. Here. Oh my god. We got somebody's line too. <laughs> right. Nice pump. And a puppy drum. That's my line. All right. Check it out. Perfect little eater size puppy drum. And uh, I'll show y'all Chris's pompano he just caught real nice. Uh, group effort. <laughs> yeah, everybody played a part in that one. When, when do you have to go to work? Uh, March. What? March? Okay. But uh, we're going on a tuna trip tomorrow. I so thought Chris was getting called into work. But uh, he just got a nice pompano. Perfect keeper size. I think it's going to be delicious. All right. We, uh, we kind of got a mess here now. <laughs> we got lines all tangled up. Well, sweet. We've, uh, we've only been here a minute. Already got some fish in the boat. What's that? Heck yeah. That was a little tiny shrimp, too. I thought for sure you're about to get called into work tomorrow morning. <laughs> we got a lot of fishing to do between now and March. I always find the pumps. You do. You're the, he's definitely the pump man. Every time I'll see me and Chris fish the jetties together, he catches the pompano. I guess we are grilling now. We're going to grill sheep's head, black drum, and pompano. I'm going to have to put a split shot rig on here if y'all are catching pumps. Yeah, I think I got a one-ounce rig. I mean, they'll hit this... Uh, Sheep's head jig, but definitely better off having a split shot or a Carolina rig. That little drum was fighting hard for how small he is. All right, y'all, we just pulled up here to the old State Trooper Marina. Got some live shrimp we're going to pitch up under the dock. See if they got some fish hanging out here. Y'all know me and these State Troopers have a good relationship. So Marine Patrol or State Trooper? Well, these are State Trooper, but then there's Orange Beach Marine Patrol, which is like that bit over there. It's the Policia. I don't say no fishing. No boats. <laughs> no boats tying up to the dock. All right, well, uh, I didn't have my camera on. Just caught a nice redfish, though. And then Chris caught one right after me. I just died. Like it check it out, y'all. Nice redfish there. We're going to have to check a measurement here on the uh, true, true North Marine mat, see how big he is. See if he happens to be 16. 17 inch redfish right here under the state trooper marina we're gonna throw this one in the box so we got a nice mixed bag we're gonna throw in the grill when we get home later on 
Wish I, uh, wish I had the catch on camera, but uh, it's gonna be good eating. Don't hook their dock while they're coming over here. <laughs> I don't know for sure, but. Oh yeah. That's where you catch the fish. Are they stopping us? The lights aren't on. What's up, man? Yeah. Okay. Well, we got, got one red fish. Do what? Well, yeah, fish in this front box up here. Which one? Right here. We got a puppy drum and then one red fish. Cool. You got your uh, fish on as well? Yeah. Where'd y'all get the popping on that? Off the jetties. Okay. Cool. We were just talking about that. Caught that one right up under y'all's dock. Really? Cool. Here's mine. Your driving. You're driving? Yeah, I said, are you driving? Uh, <laughs> what? I'm trying to update right now the one that... I was on the wrong thing. No, it was just, it had the last one. Uh -oh. Last year's been an update, it's good. So, cool. there you go. Thanks. Sweet. Sweet. I'll be hunting too in the family. There you go, Dylan. There you go, Arnie. Yeah. Okay. You got an ID or something? Yeah, I got an ID. Okay. You don't have the app? Can you phone? Uh, you don't have the app. You got to get that. That's really easy. You got to do that. Yeah, I got the one from Florida. We well, do got a pretty good box there, though. Yeah. Not bad there. We got sheep's head, pompano, black That's drum, a good day. red fish. Yeah. Good day. Yeah. How long y'all been fishing? Since what? Like we put in at like nine. I'm losing flow up with the driver's license, so let me get your search it. Is there on the water today? Man, it's been pretty slow. Really? Yeah. It's a nice day. What's yeah, the last time you bought a fishing license? So you can, I mean, you can download the app like they were telling you, and you can put your social in there and then pull up everything. If it's in the app, then it's there. Sometimes the computer doesn't work, sometimes the information doesn't go there, but just like how they were able to show me yours, you can do that on there, and if it's there, and you can prove to me that you do have one, then I'm good with that. What's the app? Uh, Outdoor Alabama. None of those fish are his. <laughs> he was just trying out a new rod. <laughs> Who, uh, whose boat is this? Me. Yours. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, so, the only other thing that I do have is that we do ask, like, I know that it says marine patrol use only, no boats, no trespassing. Yeah. That's, they don't want you in this area at all. Okay. This right here. We were talking about that, but it doesn't say no fishing. I just thought it meant, like, yeah, don't so pull up to the dock or anything, but. Yeah, so the, Right over there where it says restricted area, there used to be one of those signs there. I don't okay. know if they've replaced that yet, but gotcha. this is a fuel dock and they they don't want anyone in this area for the fuel dock purposes. So okay. if you want to fish, you know, fish basically you can the take, wall. if you take a line from this piling straight over that piling, you can stay out of that area. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. We'll just talk about that too with that guy. It's kinda of confusing. Yeah. Yeah. It is. But just with it being a field dog and everything, just that. Makes sense. The Marine Patrol guys are super nice though, so even if you don't happen to not have it, he'll probably just let you buy it and let you go. Yeah. Let's see what you got. That'd be awesome, man. I got my shit on auto review. I know. And my hunting license on auto review. Yeah. All right, dead birds. It's a white stuff. Do you know, that's a pretty good fish, though. Yeah. It's How long have you been in the water today? We put it in at like nine. Nine? So. Okay. We went to the pier first, this is the end of that. Caught a couple sheep's head. Hit a couple like reefs like two, three miles out, but okay. now I mean, some little red snapper. Um, yeah. And then fished into the jetties, caught the pompano and the black drum. And then came here. We caught three red fish. Yeah, we caught three of them, but only one was keeper. I had one like right at 16, but I knew as soon as I put on my life. I know. That one right there, I think it was 16 and a half, 16 and a quarter. Was it? Yeah. I need to double check my uh, tape measure there. Okay, where well, is the difference? That. I'm gonna hop on the boat. And if y'all want, I mean, he's the only one that needs to do something. You want to move the boat out yeah. from here, and y'all can keep fishing, doing whatever you want to do as far as that goes. I mean, y'all two are good. Okay. I'll finish up what I got to do with him. I'll just move out of this little area and fish. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. I'm gonna pull this up. Where are y'all going to? Uh, we're probably done. We're gonna go back to Boggy Point. Uh, 
Now, if y'all want to ease that way, because this boat's about to come in here, this charter boat. All right. Go ahead and start easing that way. That way we can get out of the channel. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Yeah. So, do you have any questions or anything for me? All right. Have a good day. Appreciate it. Well, again, we got stopped by Marine Patrol. Somehow uh, that happens quite a bit around here. But uh, they were they were cool as usual. They just checked our fishing license. Of course, Mr. Chris did not have a fishing license. Oh, come but uh, on. they just gave him a warning. <laughs> he's, he's buying that now. But we're going to load up, head to the house, do a little catch a cook. Probably cook all this stuff on the grill. Uh, we got a nice little mixed bag today, so I'll catch y'all at the house. All right, guys, we are back at the house now. Chris got all of our fish cleaned up for us. We were going to grill it all, but we decided to have a big fish fry. And so we're going to fry it all. Pretty good day out there. We caught... Uh, sheep's head, sheep's head. Redfish. redfish, black drum, black drum. I'm popping it. Not, not too shabby, especially for this time of year. We did catch some red snapper. I don't even know if I'll, I probably won't even put that in this video. Uh, but we did catch a couple of red snapper. Uh, so we're getting ready to fry up some fish. We did get stopped by Marine Patrol there at the end, which y'all are used to seeing that for me now. I don't, they just have a thing for pulling me over. No comment. And uh, somebody who isn't even on camera right now, you out of the frame, but. Somebody didn't have a freaking fishing license. I've been taking fishing. <laughs> I've been buying them. I've got a fishing license for Missouri and i got, I got a fishing license yeah. for Ohio. I thought you had a lifetime license. I have it for Florida. Oh, so he's got a lifetime Florida license. He lives in Alabama now, but he used to live in Florida. But he travels all the time, so he's always all over the place. And so he... I just lost track. Lost track of where he was. Yeah. But he, he actually has a license now. They just gave him a warning and, and he bought the license. So all good. Yeah, the guy was super nice. He was. He was. Marine Patrol was super nice. All those guys were really nice. Even any time we get stopped, we did get the tickets the one time, which was not fun. Um, but most of the time, they were all super cool. And they are just making sure we had fishing license. And they did end up saying that they don't want us to actually fish that Marine Patrol thing. They had a sign that says no boats. But I mean, it's very—it's right by the channel, so I would—I didn't really think no boats could Imagine, be right there. I, I assumed it meant like don't tie up to their dock. Yeah. Like if you're not blocking you them coming out, I think you'd be say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he, they said they would rather us not fish the docks, and so after that, we had already caught some fish, and so we just called it a day. Great little but, uh, spot. It is. Yeah. We went there. I didn't even make a video because I only caught one. I think he caught one or two, uh, but we caught some redfish there a few days ago, or a week or so ago now, um, which we didn't make a video of, and then, so we stopped there on the way home, ended up catching, we all caught one, of course my camera was off, so y'all just saw the tail end of it, but each of them caught one, I caught the only keeper. We actually just have everything in here together, and so we're not even necessarily gonna know what we're eating. The only one we're gonna know for sure is gonna be the pompano, because we did leave the skin on. Mm. I've ate pompano skin before, it's good. but I've not ate it when it was fried. Fried skin, the best. I've had it like blacken, leave it on. Um, so y'all comment down below, if you cook pompano, do you leave the skin on, do you, you eat the skin? Ask, How do you like it? You gotta ask your dad. And then of course we just have the Andy's fish fry right here. I just used the rest of it, so I'm about to have to order some on Amazon. Can I ask daddy? No sir. Oh. No more snacks. All they do is eat snacks around here. <laughs> We're cooking dinner, Cullen. But we got the oil heated up. We are gonna toss the fish mm. in the Andes. I don't think I've ever fried any kind of fish and left the skin on. Really? I don't think that's, so. That's some good stuff, man. Blacken's good too, though. It yeah. Baked. A lot of people, like, <clears throat> most people that catch pompano, pompano is like a delicacy for surf fishermen. Yeah. And they, uh, Sometimes they get mad when you fry pompano. Oh, well. Cause frying fish is just like, you can fry anything it's it tastes good. It's extremely good baked, but. It is, it is good baked. I mean, it's pretty much it's really good, good black and I just really like fried fish. Yeah. We are actually leaving tomorrow and we are taking my 24 foot boat, 90 something miles offshore again. And uh, we're gonna spend the night. We tried to do this a few days ago, and one of my motors was having some problems. But uh, we're gonna go again tomorrow, spend the night, 90-ish, 100 miles offshore, try to catch some tuna. 
So we got the oil heated up here. Toss in some of our fish. It's all gonna be mystery fish. Nice little sizzle. I'm not gonna bore y'all with throwing all of this fish into the oil, so we're gonna cook all this and catch y'all back when it's time to eat. And uh, see if we can figure out which fish may be which. Some of the bigger ones are gonna be the sheep's head. The hardest one to figure out what's gonna be what is gonna be the red fish. Black drum. The black drum is gonna be the smallest pieces. Yeah. Although there are some small pieces from the sheep's head. I don't know. Yeah. We're not gonna over eat, but it's gonna be good. Biggest uh, plate of fish we've made on the channel so far, and uh, already quite a bit of it's been eaten. Mom's already ate some. The baby's already ate some. Now so, it's our turn. Yeah, Kelton took some to his room. You eat more? He didn't even know what he's had. A little bit of everything. There's like four different kinds of fish. That was good, isn't it? He had to look back at the fish. That's what I made mean first. Try, try the skin. I haven't had any with the skin. See the skin? I don't know if it's... They don't, don't hard to get it to focus. There you go. Come on, focus. 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 All right, well it's not focusing, but there's skin on there. You probably want to wait to the keep it kind of hot. The problem with the skin. It's more fishy. Which I knew was going to be the problem. You Mr. Fishy Man over here. It is, it is the fishiness. And Pompano is not like overly bloody, so it's not bad. I like it. But if you've ever cleaned a fish, you see that like bloody line right on the, on the skin. And so that's what you get when you eat the skin. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Some people like that. I don't. It reminds me of catfish. Knox has had a ton of fish tonight. How's your fish? The fish is so yummy. You take a bite? Big bite? Oh, jumbo bite. Oh, man. Yum, yum, yum. Either way, it's all pretty good. Even though the pompano is a little fish with skin on it. That Andy is so good ketchup. though. Noxy has become a fish man. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've ever seen him eat this much fish. If y'all been watching this channel oh. since before he started eating fish, right. comment down below. Because he used to not even want to touch it. And now he eats just as much, if not more, fish than Kelton. Alright, did you touch that? Yeah. Burn your Burn Hot. Gotta watch out. Hot stove. We're gonna wrap up dinner here. Fish was absolutely delicious. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. We are leaving tomorrow to go tuna fishing. Yeah, and, let's uh, eat this with the tackle store. Go there. Yep, if you've never been to the tackle store, go there. But uh, hopefully, we come home with some yellowfin tuna. Yeah. Some giants is a goal, but any kind of yellowfin tuna will be better than none. So, we're going to get after it, see if we can get on some good ones. So, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video. We'll catch you on the Bye, next guys. One.